What well, around people? Today we're in Chinatown. Um, obviously you can tell it's gonna be a special episode. Noodles, chow mein, you see it. Um, basically, happy new year to all the Chinese dons. I was thinking for Chinese new year, come to Chinatown, check out some chow mein, maybe some steamed buns. But yeah, penga smudge with a oriental twist. Before we get into the review, it's gonna be a crepe check. Boom bao. Today on foot, we have the Nike Air Max 95 CNY Chinese New Year 2019. I was gonna call it pony hair, I'm pretty sure it's, it's, it's just cow hair, but they dyed it black. Levels. See the bit of gold, see the laces with the red and gold speckling. Matic. We were at the something corner. <laughs> but basically, I got a, a nice Kong Pao chicken chow mein and considering they didn't have burgers i got some dumplings as it's the year of the ox closest thing i could get was pork so <laughs> but the price price is what i'm thinking of right now madnesses i felt the box before i saw it oh my days what I feel it. Man, that is... listen when you see you'll know <laughs> these men are moving brazy now oh my days she agree because even the fact that the, the box had the divider that would have taken up space that could have been filled with food man checked on purpose he knew what he was doing so getting into the kung pao chicken chow mein so um this is not the noodles i was expecting I, I was expecting you know proper substantial egg noodles this was brother spaghetti's thicker than these i felt like i got shagged there and then in addition to that it was probably a a, a 50 50 split between noodles and, and bean sprouts. Shagri, again. Then when it gets to the flavor, okay, obviously the bean sprouts are just bean sprouts. I wouldn't expect them to be doing much, but, but uh, I like a young seasoning of anything. That I didn't taste salt, didn't taste no pepper. It's like a jab and a cross, a, a one-two seasoning. Man did not have it at all. I don't know what was making the color in them because there was no flavor. Brother, I couldn't even taste soy sauce. Even a, a light vinegary something, it would have done something. There was nothing there. It was bland, it was strange. So the noodles at a five, it's like 1.9. 1. 1. It's, it's like 1.9. Cause it's air, it's, it's dead, it's dead. The Kung Pao chicken, well, the, the sauce was doing its job. It was nice, it was sweet, slightly fruity. Now this is a funny thing with sweet and sour, there's rarely ever a sour and I don't want sour either, which is fine. Let's just make it universal and everyone just start calling it sweet because there's really no sour here. If the thing was sour, no one's copping. The chicken, it was kind of crispy at bits. The rest of it was a little bit soggy on the breading, but obviously that's because it's been sitting in sauce. It didn't taste too bad, but also it didn't taste seasoned and again, I'm, I'm when, when I talk about seasoning, I'm not, I'm not expecting too, too much, but at a Chinese shop, why is there no Chinese fire spice on it? Why not? There was ever a place and a time. This would be the place and the time to put that on everything. And there was bare of this. It could be radish. It could be radish. It's dead though. That I can guarantee is dead. Imagine celery. It's that type of texture minus the amount of fiber that's in celery, which I don't think is much, but take that away and that's what this thing was tasted like. Yeah, overall, um, for the chicken, the chicken I'd say was, uh, it, it, it did its job, but it was just unseasoned. I, I'd give it a 3.2. Now getting into the steam buns. It was meant to be a savory thing. It wasn't too savory, it was sweet. I can't fault that. It was strange because Obviously, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking this thing looks like barbecue sauce for sure. I'm not getting the barbecue sauce twang. I'm just getting bare sweetness, almost like a jam. Could I taste the pork? I'm not sure. I did see little cubes of pork and these were finely sliced cubes. They might have been say about three millimeters or so. Boss man was, he was cheating this thing as well, but the jam, it was nice. Obviously, the bun itself, the bread on it, I can't fault it. It was dry, sticky and hella soft and warm but it's piff i can't fault that steam bun out of five it's it's 3.6 3.6 that is it that's me done and we are
This boss man, particularly, I don't know about the others, but this boss man, fix up, sprinkle some of that in there, fam. <laughs> Your <heart's laughs> fam, mo my motor skills are, are are suffering right now. You can see, man couldn't even do a, a sprinkle, man, moving robotic. <laughs>